Good morning. This is All India Radio Kohima. The morning news are read by Jonas Yantan. International Day of Yoga is being celebrated today. Several programs are being held across the states in India to celebrate the day. Minister of State for Housing and Urban Affairs Kaushal Kishore creates the celebration of the International Day of Yoga 2022 at Heritage Village, Kisama, this morning. Speaking at the program, Union Minister Kaushal Kishore said, Gohima is among the 75 iconic cities across the country to be celebrating Yoga Day, commemorating Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav. He said PM Modi has emphasized on the importance of yoga through his letter sent to village panchayats and village heads asking all to join yoga. He said practicing yoga gives health benefits, improves mental health, peace and gives relief to all types of diseases, BP, asthma, sugar, cancer. He therefore said yoga plays an insurance to life. MOS urges all to practice yoga and keep oneself free from disease. Nagaland Health and Family Welfare Minister, as Pangya Palm said, yoga has many health benefits and we, w- we must make it an instrument to help grow and keep check of our health system. Bangyu said yoga is today playing an important role in the daily life of every individual by providing physical, mental and spiritual health. Bangyu encouraged all to inculcate and impipe yoga for a healthier life. Nagaland Assembly Secretariat Staff Association, NASSA, has said that it will continue with its indefinite agitation from today. NASSA General Secretary Tali Rendler and Joint Action Committee Secretary JSC Sezoto Teo, in a press release, said a decision to this effect was taken after a sitting with the Chairman Parliamentary Committee yesterday. Earlier, the committee requested the NASSA and JSC to relax their agitation, assuring that the matter will be looked into at the earliest. However, NASSA said that the committee has failed to convey any concrete response from the government. The association said that the agitation will continue till the appointment order of Dr. P.J. Anthony to the post of Principal Secretary, Nagaland Legislative Assembly, is revoked. It said all developmental works inside the office building of the Assembly Secretariat, as well as E. Vitan, related works will be halted. NASSA said they will continue to observe pen down strike, wear black badges and prevent Dr. P.J. Anthony from entering the assembly premises. Prime Minister Narendra Modi laid the foundation stone and inaugurated several projects worth 33,000 crore rupees in Bengaluru yesterday. He inaugurated the country's third fully air-conditioned railway terminal and laid the foundation stone for over 15,000 crore rupees worth Bengaluru suburban railway project. Five national highways and seven railway projects were also launched by the Prime Minister. Speaking on the occasion, the Prime Minister said that the reforms and other development works carried out in the last eight years are yielding results now. He said startups have contributed immensely to the economy and a country that had a few unicorns with over 100 billion net worth has today grown exponentially, carrying a value of 12 lakh crore rupees. Modi stressed that a level playing field is provided to the private sectors and the youth are given platforms to share their ideas and contribute in the government programs. Union Home Minister Amit Shah said that transactions through Unified Payment Interface, UPI, have crossed one trillion US dollar mark in the financial year 2022 and today India is the first in global digital transactions. He said India accounted for 40% of the total global digital payments in 2021 and PIM UPI are no longer just an Indian app but has become global. Shah addressed the National Conference on Cyber Safety and National Security in New Delhi yesterday. He said a cyber-safe India has to be built. Shah said the government is committed to protect the nation from cyber fraud and cyber attacks. Shah said data and information will have big economic power in the days to come. Therefore, steps need to be taken to prepare ourselves for securing data and information. That is all we have in this morning news bulletin. Have a good day.